You may have remembered from normal bone histology and physiology that the um, process by which bone is formed from cartilage, uh, often occurring in long bones, is the classical transition from uh, an area of resting cartilage to proliferating cartilage. Then the cartilage uh, is basically uh, transformed dissolves, loses its matrix, and is replaced by cells which secrete osteoid called uh, by osteoblasts. Finally, this uh, osteoid is calcified and eventually becomes bone. Here's normal bone, here's calcification, here is the proliferating zone of cartilage eventually being replaced by uh, osteoblasts and this uh, substance here in between osteoblasts is matrix or osteoid which when it becomes calcified like it is here eventually becomes bone. This is the normal process of endochondral ossification. It is dependent on many many things generally good health, uh, good blood supply and a lot of specific chemicals among which one of the most important things is vitamin D. If you don't have vitamin D, like in rickets with children or osteomalacia with adults, you cannot have good transition from healthy cartilage, like you see here, into healthy bone, like you see here. Here is such a case of rickets in the upper field. This is in a uh, human. Um, it probably doesn't matter whether it's a child or an adult, and quite frankly, I can't tell. But what we can tell, however, is the fact that here in the zone of uh, cartilage, you don't really see much by way of cartilaginous uh, tissue. You can see some chondrocytes, but there is ineffective uh, orderly array of endochondral ossification. And as a result, this cartilage, if it's an epiphysis in a child, let's say, does not become mineralized. That is the chief problem with vitamin D deficiency, is lack of mineralization of the cartilaginous matrix. This means that in a child, perhaps, an epiphysis will never close, or perhaps the cartilage will even proliferate without turning into bone. And let's say, for example, in a costochondral junction, you could then see a prominence of the cartilage, like in the uh, rib, costochondral junction of a rib. And as a result, the proliferating cartilage may look a bit uh, overgrown, and this gives the appearance of the so-called rachitic rosary. You have a bunch of beads, little palpable subcutaneous nodules in the subcutaneous uh, joint of a child. In an adult, of course, it means that the bones uh, do not mineralize very much. This is different from osteoporosis. In osteoporosis, you have a loss of bone mass. In an adult osteomalacia, you have improper mineralization of the bone. Uh, you probably never will see a case of rickets in your life. Maybe you'll see some osteomalacia, uh, but this is exactly what it looks like. Lack of normal cartilage to bone transformation due to lack of vitamin D. And I thank you very much.